I have Universal Yums to share with you. This little doodle looks like a pizza right there. A snack and candy box. So part of the excitement for me is just finding out which country we're going to be exploring. We are going to Brazil. And th this is really pretty. It's so colorful. It's an oh kind of a face. My oldest son will love this. Here's what the inside looks like. So far, this is my favorite. Can't go wrong with chocolate cake. I am glad I got to taste Brazilian birthday cake. I don't think we'll be eating this for breakfast. My husband's going to love the peanut candy. <laughs> I was not disappointed in anything in this box. Hey there, welcome back to my subscription box life. I'm hoping you're having a great day today. I am because I have Universal Yums to share with you. Um, I didn't know which way to put the box. There's a sticker on this side. There's a sticker on this side covering their label. So the, the small side, you can see the small side here. The small side actually is not, not covered. But this is what the box looks like whenever you get it. It's usually this blue color and it has uh, like little, it looks like cookies and candies and um, yummy cupcakes on here. It actually looks like pizza here. <laughs> I don't think they would send pizza, but to me this little, this little doodle looks like a pizza right there. I don't know, you tell me what it looks like in the comments. That's what, and to me, some of these look like ravioli too, but I don't know if we would get pizza and ravioli in one of these boxes. It's generally a snack and candy box, and they, you're gonna travel around the world with this um, box. And it's a monthly subscription, and each month, uh, Universal Yums visits a different country. So you'll explore that country via their foods and snacks. Um, also, in all of the subscription boxes, you will get an educational booklet along with it, and it'll give you trivia games, it gives you a recipe, uh, it gives you the nutritional information about everything that's in your box, and um, it. I've also have seen some QR codes in there where you can go and listen to music from that particular country, um, so it's, it's a nice little addition to every box. Um, okay, so Universal Yums is a monthly subscription. The smallest subscription starts at $15 a month, and that is this subscription. Um, it's, you get five to seven um, items, snacks, within um, this box. So this is the smallest box that you can purchase from them. They also have boxes all the way up to um, 15 to 18 snacks. And that uh, subscription also includes a unique drink from what, whatever country it is that you're visiting. Um, shipping is free within the um, contiguous U.S. You, uh, they do ship elsewhere, however. If you go onto their website to, to um, the frequently asked questions under the shipping part, it will tell you what the shipping fees are outside of the contiguous U.S. and you, they ship the product around the 15th of every month. Um, so I'm excited to get this. They also have gift subscriptions too. So you can go check those out. They have one, three, six, and 12 month gift subscriptions. So check all that out. I will put all those deets down in the details. And I also will put a link to um, get you to Universal Yums too. So you can look at all of that good stuff on your own. So I'm going to without delay, get into this box and see what country. So part of the excitement for me is just finding out which country we're gonna be exploring the, during this month. This is the Feb, my February box. Um, I think everybody gets the same box during the month of February. When you first sign up, for a subscription, they do tend to give you a choice of which box you might want. So 
uh, you may have that option when you um, go in to sign up for a um, subscription. Okay, get this open. Which country are we going to? We are going to Brazil. So you will get this cute little, um, it's a little bigger than a postcard, but it's cute. It's It's got the um, little fun facts about the different areas of Brazil on here. And on the back, it has um, like a little, I don't need that. It has over here, it has a little scoring uh, card for you. So when you share these snacks with your families, with your family and friend, you can, everybody can make it a kind of a little game and uh, score what you thought of each of these snacks. And um, then it, it also tells you uh, um, some phrases in, in uh, the Brazilian language of Portuguese. And it looks like it has a cute little scavenger hunt on here too. So this is a little, a fun little thing to have included. And it makes for a nice little family bonding moment or a friend bonding moment. Get some good debates going over why you like something or don't like, like something. Okay, so here's the educational booklet that you'll get. And th this is really pretty, it's so colorful. Got the macaw on there. And the macaw, I just noticed, is carrying a, um, a universal yum box. <laughs> Very clever. Okay, here's the QR code for the tunes that you can listen to. And then um, here you have just some more little fun facts about Brazil. And as you turn the pages, here's the trivia that I was telling you about. Here's all the information about your um, little snacks and candies that you have in here and your nutritional information. And here's a recipe. What's a recipe? Um, Brazilian fish stew. That sounds good. The picture looks wonderful. It's got big chunks of shrimp in it. Right there. That looks really good. And then it's, um, the last page has an animal spotlight. So different animals that you may find in Brazil. All right. So this is a fun thing to have educational. I am going to open it up so that I can tell you about the different snacks that we have. Oh, okay, here. They've been sending the stickers with these, oops, I have it upside down, with the, I'll put this on the back. They have different smiley face and emojis and that kind of thing um, for you. It's just a way, I think, maybe to get the younger ones interested in trying something new. And it's meant to go on your little scorecard here. So this one has um, like a smiley face and oh, kind of a face, a um, one that looks like maybe it's hot. So we might have something spicy in here, we'll see. And another one that's kind of green. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> All right. So little stickers to get the young ones excited about trying something new. All right, what do we have? Here's what it looks like once I take this nice big packet of something. Here is when I pull it out so I can tell you what it is. Um, I am not actually sure just by taking a look at it. So let me look in here. Brazilian sweet popcorn, sweet and puffy popcorn bites. My oldest son will love this. So I'm gonna taste it for you right now.
It tastes like kettle corn. <clears throat> it's sweet. It's got that normal um, popcorn texture that you would expect of popcorn to have. And it's good. Actually, it almost, now that I'm thinking about it, it almost tastes like Pops cereal. And it almost has that same texture as Pops cereal. So I almost feel like you could even use this for cereal in the morning, but it's good. It's good. Actually, both of my boys will like this. Deliciotos. This is, I think, going to be the spicy item because it's got some red pepper pictures. Okay. I like spicy, so I'm excited. <clears throat> okay, so it says pepperoni cracker puffs. It's a Brazilian Italian fusion snack. All right, let's try it. They're just these little like, rectangular puffs. It's I fe it feels like it's um, hollow inside, so let me taste it. Very crunchy. Like the texture of Cheez-Its. It does have that, a little bit of a flavor of kind of like a pepperoni. I'm getting more of like a cheese pizza-y taste though. And it's not spicy. It's got good flavor, but I'm not getting any spicy heat at all on this one. It tastes good though. My oldest son will like this. I think this box so far is for my older son. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure what this is. It looks sweet though. Let me see if I can find it in the book. Okay, white choco passion fruit bites. Crispy cookies filled with a tropical cream. That sounds really good and I'm excited to get into this. All right, so they have, it almost is like what you would expect of something that you would think of that was covered in like a yogurt covering, like a yogurt covered raisin. So let me bite into it. Mm, it is crispy. And it definitely tastes like passion fruit. Here's what the inside looks like. Not much different than the outside, but it's got that little cookie in there. It's very good. So far, this is my favorite. That is really good. This looks like something chocolate. And just based on, did I actually show you this? I don't know if I showed this to you. There. These are the, um, the passion fruit, fruit snacks. Very good. All right, let's go on to this one. This, it, this one feels light and airy, and it looks like it's chocolate. It looks like it has like a little cupcake on the picture here. It's very light, very squishy, almost like it is like a cake type feeling from the outside. Oh, okay. It's um, a Brazilian Chaco birthday cake. Super decadent Brazilian tradition. Nice. Okay, so that's how they say happy. Oh, um, Felice 
anniversarial, Feliz Anniversario. I'm probably not pronouncing that properly, but that is how they say happy birthday in Portuguese. Okay, let's try some birthday cake and chocolate to boot. Can't go wrong with chocolate cake. Okay, it, and it is, it looks like, okay, it, it does come in like a little cupcake. Oh, it's, it's long. It's one whole cake in here, and it does come in like the little um, paper. So that's what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna try not to make a mess. Just take a bite. It's a very light cake. Nice light chocolate. It's not an overbearing chocolate. It kind of melts in your mouth. You don't even have to chew it. It's so light and fluffy, but it is very good. I am glad I got to taste Brazilian birthday cake. This is really good. I will leave this out, otherwise I'm going to squish it, I think. That's how fluffy it and airy it is. I'll put it right here. Okay, what else do we have? This also feels very light. Um, Soft peanut candy, a tasty winter tradition. I think there's two in here. Yes, we have two of these. They actually, now that I'm feeling it, it doesn't actually feel as light as the cake. But I'm curious to see what it actually is inside here. Okay, this is very, oh my goodness. Okay, this is just falling right apart. I'm just gonna show you from in here. Some might even fall out when, while I'm showing you. It is very crumbly, but it, it does look like peanuts. So I'm, I'm just gonna, a little bit in my hand here to taste it for you. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very peanutty. It tastes like the inside of a Butterfinger candy bar, but not that crispy. It's very light, and as you can see, it's flaky, it falls apart but it tastes just like the inside of a Butterfinger. It is really good, really, really good. And it looks like we have one more thing in here. And this is a really cute package too. I'll show it to you and then I will figure out what it is. But you can see the mouth here that's where you can see the candy that's in here. And I'm just assuming it's candy. It kind of looks like candy. All right. This is, okay. Oh, it's fruity yogurt sticks inspired by Brazilian breakfast. Sit down for breakfast in Brazil and you won't find a big, big spread of eggs and bacon. Brazilian people consider lunch to be the most important meal of the day. So instead they opt for a lighter fare in the morning. That sounds like our house actually. We do not eat big breakfasts in our house. Pulled the pink one out. It smells really good. It smells like, um, like a, a very familiar smell, like a, almost like a licorice or it, it does smell actually like, this smells like strawberry 
yogurt now that I'm smelling it more. It smells really good. Okay, let me taste it. Oh, do you see the inside? I think that's the yogurt on the inside. All right, it's a little bit chewy, very sweet. It breaks down in your mouth quickly, but it's very good. It tastes like candy to me. I don't think we'll be eating this for breakfast. This will be more of like a snack. I mean, I could, I could put it as a snack, one of these in my kid's lunch pail. That's what it, kind of like a little treat, like a dessert. It tastes more like dessert to me, but it's good. It's good. This was a really great box. I enjoyed everything in this box. Um, I think though my favorite item is the passion fruit cookies. They were my favorite. They were light, they were crunchy, they were sweet, very good. That had to be my favorite. My second favorite was the birthday cake. Um, and I know my kids are going to like these two items, the, the popcorn and the, the pizza, the pepperoni pizza thing. Um, my husband's going to love the peanut candy. <laughs> um, I can all, almost guarantee it. We'll do our own little taste test, though, and check out my blog, mysubscriptionboxlife.com, and I will put the results of our own family's taste test on there. But if you want to taste this yummy box, I was not disappointed in anything in this box. If you want to taste it, click on the link down in, my, in the details. I have it. It'll take you right to... Universal Yum's uh, website. So check that out there. This is, and this is my subscription box life. Please subscribe so that you can be updated on all the, all things unboxing. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for joining me.